For most of us, this is where recycling ends. I mean, sure, we understand what it means when we see that label at the store, but when we drop something in this can, it's out of our lives and we don't really know where it goes, but we know it's gone. The truth is, the results of that action are all around you. So how do you get from this to this? Well, it starts with Terrence. Uh, wait, who's Terrence? I'm Terrence. I'm the driver that picks up your recycling. Oh, Terrence, nice to meet you. Okay, uh, what do you do with it? Well, after I pick up the cans in front of your house, I take them to the Murph. Okay, wait, who's Murph? Not who, what? What? MRF, Materials Recovery Facility. It's a place, not a person. Oh, right, okay, I'm getting it now. This is the Waste Connections Murph, and this is where all the sorting happens. From this one location, truckloads of trash and recyclables all get sorted with a pretty amazing combination of technology and good old-fashioned hard work. Paper products are sent off to be turned into cellulose insulation. Plastics are turned into car parts, outdoor furniture, and lumber. Aluminum is a product that can be recycled over and over, so your old cans often become more cans. From here, everything that can't be recycled heads to the landfill. For a lot of material, this is the end of the line. But luckily, for a growing amount of stuff that we put into cans, this doesn't have to be the end. Recycling is a regional game. To maximize the efficiency of the process, materials that are harvested for recycling aren't going to travel too far for their next life. Paper from the Waste Connections Murph gets sent to United Fibers just 20 miles away to become cellulose insulation for homes. This all works because the material doesn't have to travel far and use resources like fuel and electricity. Speaking of staying close to home, the can in front of your house isn't the only option you have for recycling. If Terrence doesn't drive by your house, you can always bring your recycling to a center like this one. But it's not always obvious what you can recycle. Right, Christian? That's right. Things like aluminum, cardboard, and glass are all great. But plastic bags, styrofoam, and pizza boxes are not recyclable. And there's a whole list of all these items and even an interactive tool to figure out what you can and can't recycle right on our website at wasteconnections.com. Wait a minute, did I read that right? My recycled aluminum could end up in space? Yeah, your old soda cans can be recycled and put on rockets. But that's only if you recycle them in the first place. You said it, Gary. We may say goodbye to the recycling right here, but now at least we know where it's going. Two, one, lift off. To learn more, visit queencreekaz.gov.